Hello again, everyone. Glad that you are following my Jesus Journeys series. Episode 8 is called Peter's Conundrum because it represents a situation that seems illogical. In Capernaum, Jesus gets into a boat to go to Bethsaida. When the people see him, they run along the shoreline like sheep to Bethsaida. But Jesus arrives after them. However, when one analyzes the Qumran area, one realizes that there are three routes from Merd to the Qumran area. One goes from Merd to Qumran, the other one from Merd to Ein Feshka, and the other one from Merd to Mazen. It would appear that in this case, the people went to Ein Feshka, and Jesus chose the lower route to Mazen, and then took a boat from Mazen to Ein Feshka, and this would explain the conundrum. The purpose of this series is to demonstrate the logic of Jesus living at the Essene Monastery at Qumran by the Dead Sea, instead of at Nazareth near the Sea of Galilee. The proof is shown by the length of each of the journeys, with the sum total of all the journey lengths for the traditional Jerusalem-centered locations being almost ten times greater than the more logical Qumran-centered locations. While following the simulations that I have built using Google Maps API, the great discrepancies of distances with the traditional journeys will give an opportunity to reevaluate other flawed interpretations of the life and teachings of Jesus. Setting up the people represented by sheep going along the shore from Capernaum to Bethsaida. Now setting up Jesus going by boat from Capernaum to Bethsaida. Ready, set, go, and they're off. The people set off walking. Jesus sets off sailing. And here are the statistics. Jesus arrived three hours before the people, and thus the conundrum. Setting up the people represented by sheep going by land from Merd to Ein Feshka. And now setting up Jesus going from Merd to Mazen by land and by boat to Ein Feshka. Ready, set, go, and they're off. The people represented by sheep are leaving from Merd to Ein Feshka. Jesus is leaving by land from Merd to Mazen. Now Jesus is sailing north from Mazen to Ein Feshka. And now for the statistics. The people went from Merd to Ein Feshka in four hours. Jesus' journey by land and sea took 5.72 hours. So clearly this Qumran location solves Peter's conundrum because Jesus arrives after the people. And this shows emphatically that the Qumran location is the correct location for Jesus. And after this, with all the people gathered together, there was the miracle of the 5,000. Actually, it wasn't a miracle at all, but rather a symbolic representation of the hierarchy. And this event, was the raising in status of John, the twin brother of James, who was now made leader of the 5,000 married Gentile men. I hope you enjoyed this Jesus Journey animation, and if you would like to watch more of them, 
please go to the playlist at the top of the screen.